Oh, no, how about it? What are you talking about? Don't tell a woman she's not a 10. I'll tell a woman she's exactly what I think she is. Hello. Hello. You got to come into the light. I don't want to be in the light with you. Well, then don't come on here telling me what I should not do. Because you might tell me, you might tell me I'm a negative three. And I don't want to be a negative three. Well, if you are negative three, that's that's what it is. But I'm not a negative three. I would never let you and no one else put me down. Well, see, that's not not about putting, it's not about putting down. It's just not about lying. Hey, calm down, cutie. Calm down. Yeah. Kick rocks, bitch. See, that's what I mean. See, you always want to say something, but you don't want to deal with it. Exactly. You cannot come on here talking shit and not want, no, put me down. Put you, I'm not going to put you up anywhere you're not. You're not a 10. Don't tell a woman she's not a 10. I'm so tired of women wanting somebody to lie to them. I'm not going to lie to you and say, I'm not going to let you pull me down. You can say what you want to. Let me go ahead and help you out. And see, the funny thing is women like her, have been coddled and lied to so much that the truth is offensive. So all they can do is laugh at it because it hurts too much because they know they've been lied to. And instead of dealing with it, see, at least in the movie, The Color Purple, which I don't like much of. One thing I respect about the Seeley character, she says, I may be black, I may be ugly, I may be this, I may be that, but I'm here. I'm not going to tell you you something you're not. And if you think you're a 10, go to a model casting call. Negative people, people these days like negativity. So people get off on this man over here insulting women. Other women get off on it. Other lives, I don't, I would never go back to his live again. I had my phone up like this, honey, because I didn't want to look at him. He know me. I done met him before. And he know what? He wasn't talking none of that shit to me in real life because I don't want to hear that shit. Everybody ain't trying to be a fucking model. How about that? Everybody don't want to be a model? He talking about from a model standpoint. Who the fuck want to be a model? I don't want to be a model. I don't know if y'all want to be a model, but <laughs> I don't want to be a model. I never tried to be a model. This bitch ass nigga over here talking about who based upon a motherfucking model. <laughs> bitch, everybody can't be a model. Everybody can't be a singer. Everybody can't do everything. It's different jobs for different people in the world. And every woman don't want to be a motherfucking model. Now, if Uncle Grandpa... Come on, come, come, come in, Uncle Grandpa. Come on, Kevin. 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 Listen, I need... You, you got to stop doing this to people, okay? You got to stop. You done told this woman to kick rocks. What's wrong with you, Uncle Grandpa? Lord Jesus, you get so disgruntled. I get it. She came on your show and tried to say something crazy to you and your and your man. It was crazy to you because she felt like you should be nicer to women. You shouldn't be dis disgrading women, right? I get it. I get it. I, I I totally understand it, right? I'm gonna get on her in just a minute. But the fact that you then, then compare this to a situation with Sally. Because Sally says she black and she ugly. And you, you basically what you're saying is she knew what she was. Okay? She knew what she was. So, ladies, for y'all out there calling into his show, he's saying to you, you already know what you are. So, I don't even know why you calling in for me to tell you the truth. Because I'm going to tell you the truth. I ain't going to sugarcoat nothing from you. Okay? You know Uncle Grandpa with his old spice smelling tail. Ain't going to tell y'all no lie. <laughs> In his book, in his book, it is he tell it like a T I is mother and is okay. Enough of Uncle Grandpa. Now Shakana, now Shakana, you know goddamn well you need to stop running your mouth, ma'am. Then you already get in trouble not too long ago. I don't. I ain't even gonna say you got in trouble. You got a lawsuit or so. I don't even really know what happened with you, but I know you had your mouth in something. You didn't need to have your mouth in. And then you turn around crying on this internet. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Somebody help this woman. Lord, baby, it's a clout for me. It's a clout for me. You was clout chasing. You was clout chasing. Mm hmm. 
What you always say? You a cosmetologist. Girl, stay a cosmetologist and stop mad at other people's business because Kevin won't do nothing. And now you're trying to petition for all these women to come to you so you can tell them how good they look and all this good stuff. I ain't gonna lie, it was a little funny what Kevin said. B kick rocks. He shouldn't have called you a B word, but I don't think he knew who you was. I'm guessing that he know who you is now, being that all the bloggers talking about you. But y'all, this was just interesting. Ooh, child, what y'all think? Let me know in the comments below. It's me, it's Mel with the lip and the gap. Mel the lipstick diva.